Now, this is how you can downgrade your iPad OS 26. So you don't really have that option inside of the settings and you cannot really find it inside of the software update section of your general settings page. But there are some ways how you can technically do this. Well, if you open up the website, like you go to Safari and you need to go to a website called IPSW.me. And this is a website where all of the software updates and all of the uh, firmwares and all of the things are stored. Like you can download it separately for your iPad, iPhone, and even other devices. So on this page, you need to select the, the device, which is iPad in our case, of course, then choose your specific model. Like there are all of them listed in here. So just pick whichever iPad you currently have right there. You might get an ad or whatever. And there you'll be able to see all of the current versions of the software, which can be or are signed, right? If they're signed, it means that you can still install them. At the bottom, you can see the unassigned uh, history of the software updates, which are no longer installable. But essentially, the software which can be installed can be downloaded and it's like indicated with a green color. So you can download it onto your computer right there. You need to use a computer and then you can connect your iPad with a cable to your computer and install it either through iTunes or the Finder if you have a Mac, right? So you'll be able to do it very quickly, right? By clicking on the, uh, you know, uh, buttons and choosing the software update to install it through the computer, right? So it's a bit more of a process. It's not something that I recommend to a lot of people to do. I would really recommend you to make sure you have your phone and iPad backed up completely in case anything happens. But the point is that even though it technically works, it's not something practical. And I would just recommend you to stick with the latest version of iPad OS. You know, I get it that some people don't like the glass look or whatever, but you know, it's, it's a bit of a different process to just get it done. So let me know what you think below. It's just a quick guide on how you can achieve this. Most definitely subscribe for more tutorials and quick explanations like this one. And I'll catch you later in the future videos.